Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today is January 20th and good morning. There are so many updates to take a look at. A lot of these here are coming from the brand new 2021 redesigned Goodlock. And the rest is everything you can see over here plus more, depending if there is more of these different modules and services that you use. But there is just so much going on. There's a newer update to Sound Assistant, Keys Cafe the control center, which was that application I showed earlier that you can have your music controls and a whole bunch of other functions on your edge panel. You also have updates to Game Booster Plus, Perf Z game plugins. Here's that brand new 2021 Goodlock. You also have a newer theme park and also an update to Samsung blockchain key store. So really all that we're gonna do today is I'm gonna hit on update on a lot of these sitting over here. And then here you can just take a look at what this newer version of Goodlock looks like. You also have a different panel over here. This tab was also updated of all of the Goodlock family modules. So this is where you can see Edge Touch, the sound assistant edge lighting plus one hand operation plus nice catch theme park wonderland and then here is keys cafe now it looks quite a bit different i'd have to say i mean it's i think it's aesthetically pleasing i mean there's things moving there's a lot of colors it kind of i mean it does look a little cartoony maybe a little childish but it just looks way more fun then just looking at this little panel over here. So this one here, uh, this is what Good Luck 2020 looked like. You know what? Out with the old, in with the new. Here is the newest Good Luck 2021. Now, the only issues that you may find is that if you are running on Samsung One UI 3.0, not all of these are really ready just yet. Now, I created a video back in December letting you know when a lot of these modules will be coming available if you have Samsung One UI 3.0, and that will be early February. So everything is just coming in line. Here we are. It's the 20th of January where they updated they look they updated where all these modules sit now they're able to work on each individual module so in this way we'd be able to use these things if you have samsung one ui 3.0 now if you do have samsung one ui 2.5 you know what you are still in the clear all of these still work uh, and you do have that newer version of good lock sitting right over here again this is samsung one ui 2.5 and the galaxy z fold 2 i was able to update it all of the modules are still here and working i believe there was one of these that was unplugged and i don't really know which one it was maybe it was home up uh, but one of these was unplugged yesterday on the 19th when it shouldn't have been and so they went through and then they just fixed it right over here uh, with this newer update as well and again here is your family tab if you want to see uh, what all of these other applications look like now on this side over here let's go back to the last screen so this is where all of those huge updates are at uh, outside of good lock itself as well too so if you want to know exactly where you can find all of those uh, they're just inside of the galaxy store so you want to go inside of your Samsung folder, go to the Galaxy Store, and if your Galaxy Store application isn't in this folder, you might as well just put it there. It makes it super easy to find. Then once you're inside of the Galaxy Store, this is your home page. Uh, on the very top left-hand side, you go inside of what's new, you hit on updates, you can see that there's 11 of these things. Now, if you wanted to read what all of these have for brand new updates, uh, you can actually go through and read everything here. Uh, so you got the good lock, you got the theme park, here's your game plugins. So game plugins is actually really nice, especially if you're a gamer and you wanna see some of your performance um, identifiers. If you wanted to do anything with game boosting, uh, you'd also be able to turn this one on as well. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo, you guys appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on the latest updates for your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications and tick that little bell for all. And also, if you appreciate getting up at eight o'clock this morning, shooting this as quick as I can, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. It also helps out with the YouTube algorithm. So how about we just go inside of some of these here? Let's see what they say. Uh, let's, let's take a little bit bigger look over here. Uh, you already see, over here that good luck has been updated this was the majority of the video uh, and if you have samsung one ui 2.5 all of these do work so i went through 
took a look at them, at least for the ones that I have downloaded. I don't really use every single one. Oh yeah, and then this one right up over here, this Quick Star, this one's still sitting here for Samsung One UI 2.5. When you do run Samsung One UI 3.0, I believe it moves down over inside of Theme Park because you're changing the theme of how your phone looks. Uh, so it's kind of a way that you can change your clock if you want to AM, PM. You can actually hide the clock. You can move it to different locations. You can change your notifier uh, identifying icons. You can also change the colors of everything here. So on Samsung One UI 2.5, Quick Star is still there, but in 3.0, I believe it moved over inside of uh, a theme park. So right over here, you can see that this one was updated, the Samsung blockchain key store. This one was updated on January 19th. And then when we move over here for theme park, more than likely all of these are gonna say January 20th. What a great date today is. I am super excited for today. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons why. Uh, but anyway, so here is theme parks. The theme park is a service to create a theme and install it quickly and easily. It, it extracts dominant colors from wallpapers and creates themes automatically based on user style and the colors. So I've gone in depth with theme park already, so we're not gonna really do that here. Uh, but really all you have to do, simply tap on this little update icon right there, and then it's gonna update for you. Let's also do the uh, Samsung blockchain key store as well. Uh, and then you also have good lock. So here is that newest update, probably the majority of the reason why a lot of you guys are here. Uh, so there was an issue on the 19th that it needs an update. Somebody mentioned, and here it is January 20th, Samsung is super, super quick with pushing out these updates. If you wanna read the description of exactly what uh, this is, you'd be able to read the description there. And then if you move on up just a little bit, you'd be able to take a look at what is brand new. So improves how to activate uh, the GoodLock plugin services disabled due to unclear cause. So if you tried up, uh, opening GoodLock the other day, it was just a, an issue, but here it is. It, it's an updated version and that's probably the reason why it didn't really work. So here we go. Let's just update that one as well. You also have game plugins. Game plugins is one that I use Sometimes here and there, if you'd like to get just a little bit more uh, oomph when you play your games, this one was also updated yesterday itself. Uh, the description here, it's a performance solutions for games. So if you've never seen it before, it's right here. You have all game plugins in one place. So before you saw uh, that there was an update for like uh, Perf Z and I believe the Game Booster Plus. So inside this one application of game plugins, then you're able to download this here. Uh, you're able to uh, also set daily limits. Here's your Perf Z. This is where you can show your CPU, GPU. You can show your temperature, show the frame rate of when you're playing your games. Um, and then you also have this Game Booster Plus. So when you go inside of here, you can choose if you want it to, you know, really be uh, at its highest output, lowest output, or, you know, something that's just kind of in, the, in between, optimized, something good for battery and everything else. So let's update that one. So if you're looking for newer modules, different applications, take a look at these here. Now that that has been updated, we can definitely update these here, which is the Perf Z and Game Booster Plus, which was the two that we just got done talking about. Then when you go uh, to these next ones, the Control Center, this was one that I was a huge fan of. I actually, I called it the number one application of 2020, just because there is so many different things that you have here uh, that you're able to uh, use as tools. You can open up your calendar, you can go back, things like that. But really, it's this top page here that I use a lot, especially when it comes down to music. It makes it really easy. You don't have to pull down the notifications panel or go into an application you're going to have it sitting right there but then you also have a calculator you have some other quick tools you can turn on your flashlight really quick i mean you can do some of that with the notifications panel on top but the way that this one operates is just a little bit better uh, and then you also have Keys Cafe and Sound Assistant. So Keys Cafe is if you wanted to update the way that your keyboard looks. I mean, I played with it, it was kind of cool, but it just kind of takes away, I think it's just too much from the phone. It is a way that you are able to make maybe your return key, the space bar a little bit bigger or smaller, you know, things like that. There, there, there is actually a lot you can do, but I'd rather just keep it the same because then I, I switch between phones so often that I'm not gonna switch all of my phones to look the same way. I'd rather have it all be, you know, the exact same keyboard and then with sound assistant this is a way uh, that you'd be able to change the amount of clicks so like let's say that you want to turn it to a particular volume um, but when you click that your volume either once or twice, it's just either too much or too little, you're actually able to add in additional clicks. So this way, instead of you clicking it 10 times to go to the maximum, you can switch it to 20 times to go to the maximum. So then this way you can really get that exact sound volume that you're looking for. 
Uh, and then you also have the uh, individual apps on volume control. So if you're watching two different programs, maybe listen to music, watching a quick YouTube, or maybe listen to music, looking at Facebook real quick, you can have you can turn down your music really quick. You can turn up your Facebook, and then when you're done with the Facebook, then you're able to turn it right back down, and then turn your music back up, and, and things like that. You can also change where you want your volume rocker to be. But because I already do have Samsung One UI 3.0, there's no reason. Mine is actually already over here on the right-hand side. Originally, it is on the top in the middle, and so you can switch it to the right-hand side if you don't have Samsung One UI 3.0 just yet. So that's kind of a lot of the updates that's kind of happened right here. I kind of wanted to show it off and maybe discover a new application for you guys if you haven't used any of those other ones that was just, you know, got done being explained. So now let's just kind of go right back inside of here for good lock if you're not too familiar with good lock itself uh, basically over here you have quick star you can change the way again uh, as i mentioned from before you can change the way your notification pa uh, panel changes so this quick notifications here uh, the way that it kind of looks again on 3.0 it did move over inside of theme park for task changer, this is how you're able to change the way that your recent tabs look. If you want to have a lot of blurring effect, the gesture cube effect, um, and then also too, you can change the layout of how your recent screens look. And I always go to this one for some reason. It always feels to be the most helpful. You know, it's not going to be a list and it's not going to be one big one that kind of takes the entire frame. I have so many different ones sitting on one screen that I can simply switch between all of them and also get rid of them. Clock face, this is a way that you're able to change the clock style with your always on display and the lock screen, things like that. For multi-star, I've actually never really played with this one so much. I mean, the, the multi-star, the, the split screen has already been great for me, but if you need a few more features when it comes down to using multi-window split screen, uh, then this is gonna be a good application for you to take a look at, or I should say a good module inside of GoodLock. Uh, for Navstar, you can change the way that your navigation bar is set up. So I've shown this off quite a few times, but again, I am a big, uh, you know, uh, I think it started with Android 10. I'm a big Android 10 gesture. So swiping in from the sides or swiping up, but this is where you are able to change. If you want your icons to look different, if you want to add more icons in there, you can create your own configuration. You can even change some of the color that's on the bottom. Uh, I mean, there's just so many things that you can do on how you want it to look, uh, but it, I'm not a huge fan of that anymore once the gestures came through um, so that one right there was Navstar home up uh, this is one that's really nice if you wanted to at least for me change the way that folders are are set up so this way if you wanted to have your folder grid be looking different so right now it's the three by three and then five by five so right now you can see it is three by three you can switch it to more if you want it to be three by four or four by three and then when you open this up it goes five by five you can change the layout of that and that's all done in home up so i know a few people has been asking me if they can change the way that their folders look uh, but you're gonna have to get that one done uh, through through home up itself and we gotta just make sure that um you know home up is starting to work here with Samsung One UI 3.0. Oh. And then last up is going to be NotiStar. So NotiStar is a new notification management service. So really, if you get notifications coming through, you can set up how you want it to look. But I'm excited and, and pleased with what Samsung One UI 3.0 gave. And, and even though I am running on Samsung One UI 2.5 right here, I still I still dig what Samsung has done, but if you want to customize yours, you can do that. You can add in filters and you can change the way, uh, you know, all the different orders is. Uh, Keys Cafe, again, you can change the way your keyboard is set up. For Wonderland, you can make different um, background effects. So if you wanted to have some some pretty cool backgrounds, you know, going on and, and, and you can put in your own images, you can have things move around. It's, it's, it's kind of cool, but uh, for me, I'm just not really into that. Um, then you also have Theme Park. So Theme Park, again, is a way that you're able to fully customize the way that your phone looks. So on Samsung One UI 3.0, the theme park for the notifications panel and stuff like that is gonna be switched over here. So you can change your theme of the phone. Uh, you can also change your keyboard. And then you also have some stuff that is TBD that hasn't even been released. Then you also have Nice Catch, so it's a way that you're able to take a look at all these different notifications that come through, or if a vibration happens and you don't really know what it is, uh, you can take a look at the uh, the toast history, the call mode, ringer mode, and vibration history. So this is just letting you know what has made your phone vibrate, uh, and it's because there's maybe something with your Android system letting you know about an update. And then you got a messages that happened there, and another message that happened there, something from Samsung members. So if you want to take a look at your different notifications that comes through or something that woke up your screen then you're able to go back in time to see what really made your phone vibrate if you if you fully got rid of a notification real quick and then you 
don't really know what you swiped off, you're able to take a look. Then you also have your one hand operation plus. So it's a way that you're able to use your phone with one hand. And then we talked a little bit about sound assistant. So that is it for today's video. What do you guys think of the brand new redesigned Good Lock 2021? It everything does work here on Samsung Woody Y 2.5. It's all looking good. It's all plugged in. When it comes down to the modules over here on Samsung Woody Y 3.0, they are not plugged in just yet. So again, I didn't really plan for this to be done until the Galaxy S21 was supposed to be released, which is coming on January 29th. So that's why, you know, everything was already stated from before. Even the team of Goodlock stated early February for Goodlock because you got to make sure you have Samsung Winnie Y 3.0 pushed out to other phones. Samsung Winnie Y 3.0 is more important than Goodlock itself. So 3.0 is more important. That's what's being worked on first. Then once all that is being rolled out, which it has been and is and will be, then you have the Galaxy S21 coming out with, Sam with uh, Samsung Winnie Y 3.1. And then you're going to have Goodlock being updated, pushed out, newer modules. Once everything is pushed out, it's a perfect time schedule. Uh, so again, I'm just super excited for that uh, phone to be out. That means a newer version and all these modules will be working on 3.0. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.